Dr. Richard Kofi, the principal research scientist and the deputy director of the Institute for Scientific and Technological Information. Dr. Margaret Uta Atiku, and I work with the CSIR Food Research Institute as the head of the Microbiology Division. My name is Kisibu Akfokmi, a senior research scientist at the Institute of Industrial Research CSIR. As a deputy director, I am responsible for research, innovation, and development activities. I'm glad and happy to be part of this program because I personally have the notion that learning is a never-ending exercise. My impressions about this course has been great. For this particular program, I want to state clearly that it has been very, very, very exciting and the insights we've gained are very, very tremendous. What I've noticed is before I came for the course, it was very difficult for me to identify which websites to visit to be able to get adequate information for my publications. But now I know where to go. It's made it easier for me to be able to publish. And therefore, I think I'll be able to publish a lot and uh, with a minimum suffering like I used to. There are so many things I have gained out of this program, right from the first time that we started about two and a half months ago until this afternoon. Well, I realize it is quite useful and for me in particular, it is going to help broaden the type of work I do in the institutes. We are researchers and we are supposed to research and report and Access to information is very necessary and therefore the e-resources which was part of our program has come to stay with me and I know for sure that I will be able to make very good use of that uh, now and in the future. Uh, the first program that we had barely two months ago uh, on the information literacy was quite exciting. At least we know that yes, information is information, but the way it is acquired and packaged and disseminated is yet another thing. E-resources, yes, enormous as they are, what is vital is where to get the right information faster for you to do your work. And at least the uh, insight given us in, uh, in e-resources was also quite useful. And then having had access to look for information as to how you put it into writing for the benefit of those who sit elsewhere is also another point to be considered. Now we have had access to policy briefs, writing, reporting, and the practicing of it in the presence of our colleagues, which is part of our training because as researchers, we are used to seminar a presentation and questions and comments and other things come from our colleagues for us to know where we fall short and then we can make amends before the information is disseminated for public consumption. I've learned a lot, especially the Dropbox. I was trying to use the Dropbox through advice by a friend, but I got so confused and gave up. And when I came here and I was taught about how to access and how to save files, send big files, it's made it easier for me to be able to uh, finish my work and then send it out. For example, I had a publication which was going to be put into a book and I found it very, very difficult to send it to the Philippines but now I've been able to send it. So this is one of it. And then policy brief writing was excellent. Uh, it helped me now. I know how to uh, you know, limit what I write and then summarize whatever I write. Now, yes, the internet is there as a tool, but we now know exactly even the type of word combination that we can use 
to be able to obtain the information that we require faster than we used to, to do. Initially, I thought the ultimate was Google and some of those initial uh, search engines. But I think at the end of it all, we've found out that there are alternatives. And then in particular, of particular interest is this last program on uh, um, policy briefs, writing. Uh, yes, indeed, policies are policies, but these are the tools that our policy decision makers will have to use. So what is the essence of all this research when we don't see it implemented? All this has been part of this training which has actually come to enhance the knowledge that one has been able to acquire all this period. And I believe strongly that with all that we have had, when you go back to your various offices, we should be able to come out you know, better than before. But in actual fact, all the topics uh, have been good, you know, they have been excellent, have really gained from them. But at least uh, the exercises that we went through uh, on even summarizing the policy is quite uh, interesting. Uh, more especially what we did today, where we take a research project and then do a policy brief for the information of politicians, planners, and uh, decision makers. I wish the course could be extended because I think if it's extended then we could uh, uh, gain more from uh, the topics, the different topics. So yes, we are going and we hope that in future if you happen to organize this again, certain areas which you feel the time was too short must be extended so that others will also have in-depth knowledge of that. So the way forward now is I'm going to uh, collaborate with other colleagues who are on the board so that uh, we do multidisciplinary project work. This has been a very uh, interesting group coming from diverse disciplines. I think at the end of it all we got to know each other well and again the topics that they discuss those interesting terminologies that came up tells us that we need to move along with one another. After all, knowledge shared is better than being confined in an island.